as you can see the namespaces are created the production and the development now it's time to create the deployment and then we'll try to create the service as well in the production namespace first to create the object inside the kubernetes cluster there are two ways you can execute kubectl command uh, to create the object and another way is you can create the manifest for the object and you can apply the manifest to the kubernetes so that the kubernetes api itself it will try to create the object inside the kubernetes cluster so in this case i'll try to utilize the kubectl command to generate the manifest okay so first we are we have to create the deployment uh, for that i'm generating the deployment manifest kubectl create we are going to create the deployment the deployment name is california and then image i have to take my image subani prasad slash california app colon one is the tag and then hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run is equal to client hyphen o yaml this particular command will print the manifest for the deployment here you can see the kind is deployment and all let me copy this manifest and we'll try to use this manifest inside the ansible playbook and we'll try to create the deployment in the production environment all right let's create a file over here production.yml three dashes on top must and should hosts section is it will execute in the local machine that's the reason we are, have to put the local host and then we need to make sure the tasks the name of the task is create california deployment in production namespace right so we have to utilize the k8s module and then in that state of this deployment should be present because we are creating the deployment right and the definition so we need to paste the manifest over here whatever the manifest that we have copied from the generated command we need to paste over here and make sure everything is in line that's it so up to here the ansible code snippet and inside the definition we just provided the definition to create the deployment and before executing this playbook we need to specify and uh, we have to create this deployment in the production namespace and our goal is to create this deployment with three replicas right let's save this file and then try to execute before executing this playbook let's just validate is there any objects that are presented in the production namespace kubectl get all hyphen in production so no object is presented at this time and now execute the playbook ansible hyphen playbook and then production dot yml there you go the change state is true that means it is created the deployment inside the production namespace let's validate that kubectl get all hyphen n in which namespace production namespace there you go one replica set is created and the deployment is there with three replicas all right now let's go and create the service as well so i would like to generate the service manifest with the command as well kubectl expose deployment in which environment the production environment the deployment name is california and then uh, the type of the service is load balancer and then the port is 80 hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run is equal to client 
and then hyphen o y a m l. All right. So with this particular command, we can get the manifest for the service as well. Just copy that and uh, edit the same manifest. Now this time we'll try to create. Task for the service creation name. Create service for California deployment in production namespace. And then the module is K8S. And we have to use the state keys present because we are creating the service as well and definition. Inside the definition, we need to paste the definition what we have copied. And we need to make sure everything is in line. Yes, everything is in line. And then try to check the syntax. It is started at colon three. And it is started at colon five. We need to this is colon two, correct? And this should start with colon two. And state and the definition. That's it. Let's save this file. Make sure everything is correct. And then try to execute the playbook. Ansible hyphen playbook and then production dot yml okay so there is a syntax error ansible is particular about the white spaces here you can see a started at colon 12 and k started at colon 30 so that's the reason it's gave us the syntax error let's make sure everything is in line and this step also i hope everything is correct right let's deploy this file again we have an error namespace is required okay sorry for that so so we need to make sure in which namespace it should create namespace is production and save this file and execute there you go it's just created the service as well Let's verify that kubectl get all hyphen n production. There you go. Three parts are there because we mentioned the replicas is three and the and then the California service, the type is load balancer. As this is running in a local environment, so we don't have any uh, third party uh, services to make sure to get the external IP. So it's just pending, but it's not our intention to fix this issue as of, as of now, right? So here you can see with Ansible, we just try to just deploy the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster. Let's do one thing. Copy this file to development.yaml and then open the development.yml and change the namespace and the replicas as well. All right, so the namespace is here, not production, development, and this should be also development. And the replicas should be one. And uh, this also development namespace and this should be changed to development instead of creating one more file from scratch i just copied the production.yaml file to the deployment.yaml 
and then I have changed a couple of uh, parameters inside the file. Right? So let's check kubectl get all hyphen n development. Inside the development namespace, we don't have any objects yet. Let's execute this playbook. The playbook name is development.yml and it should create the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster. There you go. California deployment is created and then service is also created inside the development namespace. Let's check kubectl get all hyphen n development. There you go. You can see the California application is running with one replica set and the service is also Sorry, we forget to change the service type from load balancer to the node port. Let's change it. Don't need a load balancer. Node port. And then try to apply the, try to execute the same playbook. It's just created a new service. And then if you observe kubectl, get all hyphen in development. There you go. The service is changed from load balancer to the node board. So this is how we can create the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster using the manifests.